well, my name is uh, Bill, and uh, the reason I came was because um, uh, I'm very lucky right now. I have a job, but I don't have to work at the moment, and so I have some free time, and uh, and so that's why I, I came down to support uh, this, which is a, a very special uh, gathering and something that I've been waiting to see happen for at least 10, 20 years. Um, I've been here uh, just about a week, and uh, and I'm sleeping over there in the corner of the park. I'm having a really nice time and meeting a lot of great people, and. Uh, uh, and what I'd like to see come out of this is uh, any number of things, uh, but I think uh, what, what I would, at the very bare minimum, I would like to see uh, the, uh, the politicians in this country start to actually listen to the voices of people, of everyday people, the 99%. And there's nothing more effective to get voices heard uh, than occupying places. We could picket, we could go on marches, uh, but to actually occupy uh, has been something that uh, is, in the history of the United States, has always been the thing to get the job done. Uh, if you look at the auto workers in the 1930s, they occupied their factories. If you look at the civil rights movement in the 1950s and 60s, they occupied cafeterias and stores and schools. Uh, so occupation, uh, Mahatma Gandhi taught us and Martin Luther King taught us, it works to make your message heard. So, so I'm hoping that, uh, 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 that all sorts of things come out of this, but at the very least, I want the voices of the 99% to finally be heard in Washington and on Wall Street.